he tilts the cup and spills the drink like all over the counter and in front of the bar people are so entitled like they literally think you working there means that okay cool i can just buy you i can literally just buy you good morning good morning good morning good morning we are hanging out with friends and we're doing a photo shoot thing so that's gonna be fun why does my face look so good this morning i don't know last time i literally put I put foundation first, but this time I think I'm gonna go ahead and put concealer first because we're shooting a garage photo shoot. So I kind of want my under eye to be a little bit bright. My skin looks so good today, and I slept for like two hours. I cannot use my Charlotte Tisbury setting spray because, girl, I'm on a budget so. We're gonna use our trusty NYX because yeah. I just have a feeling that my makeup today is about to look so freaking good. I'm gonna go and get my big lights and everything. So I'm just gonna be using, yeah, it's doable. With the light on, does my skin still look good? I think it does. All of my makeup is in a bag. It, it is gross. It's not given girl i love a home feeling like a home this includes there being okay there's just that one blanket that is just sitting there there's just little things that humans do and i love it but i'm also very specific about certain things like water on the floors water in the sink walking bare feet things not being put in the exact spot it was left in Things just being left out and it's like just only a little bit of it left. Oh my god. I feel like a lot of people don't know me. Even people that have seen me IRL, they don't really know me. They tell me often that I look very scary to approach for some reason. It's kind of sad. It hurts. It's kind of sad. It is. Sad. But honestly, I think it bothered me a lot in university. Oh, I'm tearing up. Before it used to hurt, but now. Do you know why my makeup was horrible yesterday? Because I put the concealer, I put creamy beige on the inside. I was like, why does my face look like that? I put the light one on the inside. A little bit of story time. So I work, I work um, as a bartender at my good one. But you know what? What's the like, one thing I do have is good customer service. I've only really ever worked in what well, I think everything is customer service. Every single job you're doing has an aspect of customer service. I had the opportunity. I had the opportunity to work at the club. Look, sometimes you try to sugarcoat things for people because I'm like, you know what, I get it. Like, people always have a visual of what things are because of movies and shows and whatever. But at the end of the day, you need to understand that people are living real lives. Because you have an expectation of what this surrounding, this environment is supposed to be like, I'm trying to pay off my school loans. I am trying to. I'm working how many jobs right now? I am trying. Like, if, unless you're going to pay off, what, how many thousand dollars? Actually, instead of getting better at makeup, when I started working as a bartender. And somebody said something very similar. When you're kind of placed in an environment where, obviously, it's all customer service and appearance. That's actually what it is. It's pretty like, oh, the club scene is giving celebrity. You come back to your house, especially if you're, there's so much stuff you have to do. You're just, life is just lifing. Why can't you go? Why can't you go to the club with your friends? I just love the music at the club. If I could have those speakers, in my house i would i love going to just go and like go and hear the music pumped up like oh my gosh i'm even just envisioning davido playing on the speakers freaking rama ah oh, frick i put this way too close i'm just chilling and having fun bro like having worked there there are some people that will come 
and they're not very nice just love the girlies with the glasses man i tried to be a glasses girl but you'll just see my eyelash sticking out on one side like it doesn't work they be having the, the best time of your lives because generally a lot of these girls says, let me call my friend out <laughs> a lot of them already be wearing glasses on a daily and they cannot see they can't see so my friend literally she's like I, she does not wear her glasses to the club she just wears sunglasses that is just extra darkness upon darkness she's just there to vibe bro she's not there to see nobody she's not there to say whatever like love the girls i just love the girls the guys guys you guys don't don't know don't know don't know ah generally i feel like the conversation is too much now you're talking to a girl you're really heavily putting it on you know like it's not really it's not really working it's not really working you know i can see it you know i'm still standing there just in case i need to jump over the bar or something like it and you know you're trying to talk to her buy a girl a drink like it's the offer every day you're asking for her own asking for her own you tell her wait 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 let me call you now so it will ring ew 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 let me call you now so I will know that it's not the fake one you gave me. Ha <laughs> ha And you're just laughing like it's funny or something. Like, ew. But this brows are not the same. Nothing is by force. Nothing is by force. Nothing should be by force. Financial stability will be by force in Jesus' name. Amen. No, somebody actually told me oh my gosh okay yeah somebody was just like whatever whatever i'm like yeah, yeah yeah of course one second let me go grab you your drink and all of that stuff he said i'm okay, cool he was like okay what are you doing after i'm like the frick like it's three o'clock like i'm gonna go home i don't even know who you are i don't know who you are and guys just i don't know i don't know i don't know if they think if they tip five dollars that's that's i'm just going to say okay yeah we're going to your house I'm going to go home. She's like, why? Why are you going to go home? Find girl like you. Why are you going home? It's, why was I talking to a guy? He's like, oh, no, I don't want you to work at the club. You don't want me to work a minimum wage job serving drinks. Because you know who the fuck you are when you go to the club and how you treat those women. In Toronto, it just seems like competition is so freaking high for jobs. Like and the thing with me is that I'm a work is work. Work is work. Work is work. There's no like different like work. Work is work. But... The whole reason I started been ranting about this was because I was going to talk about how my makeup suddenly just got better while working at the, at, at the bar. Because every single day, not every day, like whenever you work, you obviously see people coming in and they look so freaking good. Like, I'd be taking notes, outfits, makeup, everything. And obviously the girls that be working there too, they also just look so freaking good. In a sense, it kind of encourages you or forces you to want to be better. First day I came in, obviously, like I'm I wasn't horrible at makeup, but I was. I wasn't good at nighttime makeup because I never went out. Like I would go out once in a blue moon with my friends, whatever. And at the end of the day, I wasn't even doing full face makeup. So when I moved to Toronto was when I actually started like, going out more and but seeing the girls, I was just like, you need to, you need to learn how to blame. And flashback, flashback was freaking real. Flashbacks, I started taking pictures of myself before I would go inside, like using a back camera, because people just like to pull out your phones. I'm not about to end up on no mother freaking page looking like Casper. And that was also the reason why I didn't want to work there in the first place. We're in the era of social media. And I don't want to end up, oh, you're somebody's snap that is in freaking, like, Jamaica. Do you know what I mean? I was just scared, I guess, of being seen. But I was just like, bro, people be taking, even in the subway, you'll be walking. You'll just see somebody just, you know? I kind of had to 
no not even i had to get over that it it's there was no this thing it was literally by force like just can't even really think about it but yeah i genuinely invested a lot more in my makeup when i started working there and some of the girls like offer tips things like that like oh this is what i've been using and they noticed i i think i came into work this one time and i had done my makeup differently like it looked good i know it did one of the girls was like oh my gosh something looks different i was like yes She's like, no, something looks good. Like, you look good. Something looks good. I was like, damn, thanks. So I feel like I, I live my life like I'm in a sitcom. Like, I really do. I be doing things with the plot so much that I'm just like, hmm. There's a snowstorm. And I want groceries. I don't have to get it right now. But what's gonna happen if I do? And sometimes, like, you do something and you're just like, yeah, this is not for me. I literally stopped working there for a minute. For, for a minute. There was a lot going on already in my personal life. But I was just like, yeah, this place right now is not for me. There was just something in the air. And you just feel like, I'm not supposed to be here. I remember being at work one time. And I was just like, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here for this time period. I'm not supposed to be here. And a bunch of stuff literally happened right after I, and then recently I was just like girl let's be motherfucking honest I've been looking for a job for the past how many decades now and one job was not cutting it one job wasn't cutting it and I was just like bro okay cool you know what now I know and I say now I know it's like what do you know like I genuinely came to Toronto I didn't really know anything I didn't know anything about the creator world here and just the service industry and everything there was a lot of things especially in Toronto that I did not know you know everybody be nice because I'm nice and it backfired but yeah yeah I think I just have it's it's very much all like a mind thing like you really have to be just mindful and you just have to go in there just knowing like look okay i you know what it is too i think at first when i started working here i was like cool this is going to be like my third job but like this is gonna be my fun one like i'm just only gonna be doing this for fun oh that was what that was what that was the problem that was actually the problem there's a lot of things that you're gonna let slide that you shouldn't really be letting slide right and i think that was what i really just kind of needed to learn like understand that bro time is money like you can be having fun here but you need to understand that like you're working you're working so at the end of the day like you can't be just letting things slide here and there especially with customers customers are always right not all the time oh my god this one guy happened to one of the girls i was working with so he was just kind of sitting there sitting and i was just like okay girl do you want me to serve him like i think she was busy or something she's like no he's being so freaking rude i looked at him i was like hey um did you want anything like is what's going on like oh he's waiting for this drink or whatever i said okay whatever I'm, I'm gonna get it for you then like because at this point you're just sitting on the bar staring like it's a bit freaking weird so i pushed the drink towards him put it in front of him he tilts the cup and spills the drink like all over the counter and in front of the bar i look at him like I just chuckled and I left and I cleaned up and I left I said well okay are you done are you done because genuinely like are you done okay cool bye have a good day because you're a grown ass mother friggin man you're a grown ass man and if somebody is busy serving somebody else and you're waiting okay cool like 
just wait just wait a little bit just have freaking patience man are you actually done bro that that was that was so irritating that was so irritating i was just like i shouldn't even have come over to try and help you out sir because you are showing me this is very much who you are on a mother freaking daily my hair is not even this is who you are on a daily it's annoying who else what else what else do i like first of all i'm not even really saying nothing i'm using because i think that last video kind of like said it all and honestly i feel like if you already have makeup or something you can definitely you can figure you can like use what you have i don't i use maybe three products i don't use a lot of stuff um but why is this makeup eating this makeup literally looks so good but i done freaking yesterday's i don't think i'm gonna put should i put you know what i will put lip gloss on right now because i wanted to film they're not here yet so i wanted to film something before um what else do i love about about the club i love couples I love couples that come in and they themselves act like like they know who they are oh, I don't know what this one is this is in the this is it's a very light brown very very light yeah and I've never used this one before And this is not the lips for the photo shoot. I think I'm gonna do something. Oh, this is this is kind of nice. I just wanted to do brown. Oh, this is nice. This is, and I'm just gonna put some clear gloss on top. okay this is cute this is cute i love fun drunk people oh my god i just love i just love i'm like me too i just love fun people because i'm i'm a shy girl so i won't be coming to you with that energy but if you come at me with that energy, I know I can can't come to you with that energy and it's not gonna be like weird. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to be weird. It's just because it's during the day. Why is this makeup looking like this? Wow. 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 And I haven't even used sudden spray yet. I haven't even used setting spray and it's already looking like this so for the shoe again i just love using this palette i'm gonna use this pink one this is eyeshadow yeah yeah it is so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put that there but then i'm also gonna go in oh you know what they said they wanted to go out to dinner i definitely think we should because this makeup is very nice and i should go outside and i'm gonna go in with my milani this is like in an icy pink color i'm just gonna put it right on top of that one i miss the blush i was using before i miss the essence one i miss it so much i can't believe that i was not checking for it Alright, something is wrong with my nose. I think it's because of the concealer I put there. But, yeah, I mean, again, I just love music, man. I just love music. Like, I would 
play like music 24 7 so to be in an environment where my some of my favorite songs are being played on loud ass speakers are you done i actually need to stop doing that and stop really dancing dancing i should just make the drinks i think there's some days where as a girl you're just not feeling it i'm not my hair is not done my i my makeup my skin is not like i'm just breaking out or i'm just not feeling it there's some days where you're just not feeling it and I hate those days and then I have to work and you literally just have to show up. But then that's every job. You literally just have to show up. You just, you have to show up. But the one thing about the industry is that I think because it's so kind of based on obviously looking your best and then providing that service, as I mentioned, there is a lot, there's just expectations maybe we maybe you've placed on yourself to always look good but I, it makes sense it makes sense it makes sense okay but there's a there's a expectations that people place on themselves to look a certain way so of course sometimes when i'm like my hair is not done i literally will feel like shit like i would be like like but i also know that even before the club before before working here getting my hair done was just the best way for me to kind of like you know like it just made me feel so good so working there i had to really you have to care for yourself i guess is what i'm saying you really have to care for yourself looks hygiene everything and at first i was trying to do the most and i was just i was like i'm not gonna get my nails done for 85 dollars like if i don't have the money i'm not gonna do it because of work no no i'm not gonna do that but that's an expectation I put on myself because there are girls that are working with no nails. Like, it's just a matter of the way you see it. Yeah, now I'm just like, bro, I just want to, I just want my, I just want my money. I just want to work, get paid, that's it. Yeah, you just have to come at it. I don't know, you just have to, you have to understand why you're there. Yes, you just have to understand why you're there. This goes for any workplace. You literally just have to understand why am I here? why am i here why am i here and if it's not making sense then you gotta figure something else out oh bring your fan i'm some places actually don't allow fans anymore but girl bringing a fan saved my life in this city bro because why is it so hot why is it actually so hot this is such a pretty look wow his photo shoot's about to eat we have some good looks some good outfits ready and i'm probably gonna take some stuff for instagram as well but i was very nervous because i woke up like i woke up later than i wanted i slept later than i wanted so i just was not feeling doing my makeup and my hair this morning but i am very happy that i did it yesterday like i installed this wig yesterday so that today i wouldn't be stressed out something i'm kind of doing more i'm like you know what why not just do this now instead of doing it later when you're gonna be stressed because i just know myself i just know myself but um yeah this makeup is cute this makeup is very cute yeah people should just start going to enjoy just go and enjoy the music Stop trying like people are like don't be something you're not when you are at work you're cosplaying when you are at your nine to five you're cosplaying majority majority okay not everybody obviously because you're you're just there's a certain kind of person that you gotta be but I think I made a heart by accident oh I actually made a heart by accident can you see it? I actually made a heart by accident. This is so cute. Do you know what? There's some... I think it's... um. There's like a stamp or something that some girls be using to create hearts and all of that. Man, I'm gonna have to get that because this is so cute. This is so cute. So... Something just happened. I don't know. 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 This is cute. 
and this shirt is so like i love love tropical shirts okay that's it that's all was there anything else i wanted to add y'all just be kind like people are gonna take advantage people are going to people always this is just in life people always will but i feel like when you kind of know yourself and when you know the environment that you're in you clock how people move but it doesn't bother you because you know the reason you're there in the first place so you not have to move accordingly but obviously like smartly do you know i feel like i'm talking about cryptic 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 crypticness i feel like that's all african parents so if you understand hold your ear hold your ear listen to everything i've said now if you're a guy change your ways change the <laughs> change your ways if you're a girl change yours too understand be be vigilant mm. all you leaving your friends at the club type people Treat others the way you want to be treated. For real. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Because that's not cool. That would never be cool. That's not okay. I would never be okay, bro. Ever. Ever. This, not just girls. Guys do this too. And nobody talks about it. The battery's dying. And this is the makeup look for today's photo shoot. If you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, if you like the chit chat, talking, whatever, let me know. I'm just trying things out. So we're trying to see how it works. So if you liked it, um, that's good. <laughs> if you liked it, I'm so glad. I uh, give a video a big thumbs up. Comment down, I don't know, your own club stories, things like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to vlog the photo shoot. I'm going to vlog when my friends comes over so yeah go take a look at that video and that's it i just love this Mwah. bye